because I should be fine. They'll give me plenty of bedrooms probably for the presents. I've got plenty of lights. I've got plenty of other stuff. Um, if I wanted to, I could buy some armor. Um, that would probably help. I haven't invested any any money at all in armor. None. None whatsoever so far. I get rid of the shitty clothes so far. Normally by now I would have them have some like wooden armor and God only knows at least some like level of protection but I haven't even gone into any of that. I've got a spine laying around. I've got legs. I've got implants, whatever. So Sarah Tyler is great for research, cooking, med rooms. Nothing can beat it. Yeah, I've got that in like my uh, kitchens and I haven't yet got it into the butchering areas I've got to change over that tile but I have got um I've got it in like where I store food and stuff it's too much it's just a little bit too much a little bit more yeah I'll get there eventually I'm not going to put down any more like research benches here not until I'm ready to like move into the like the very last place like, that's the funniest thing is this isn't even the last place. This is just a stepping stone location. So all this, like, fluffing around with, like, getting shit in order. Like, it's not going to matter that much. At least I remembered what I was bringing the beds up for, though. <laughs> Eventually. But these are supposed to be for. I should be able to, say, get rid of these. They're going for fresh air. Be back soon. No worries, Grim. I won't be able to put them there. But if I could get past these i think that selected them right it selected six so i'm guessing it's selected maybe a tile get rid of that i don't know what else i selected in there i selected something i'll tell you that much either way the beds have got to go in here and what is that bed it's an excellent one all right now that i'm rem remembering where shit's supposed to be going that helps uh slate table i guess did i where did I end? Oh, there's one of the tables. I only need more than that. Fine. And also, I'm going to need to change these rooms out to not being that... I don't know, that would be fine over here. I can hell. That should be fine. What I need to do is fix up these rooms. Because these ones are the ones I haven't yet done. Um, if I can scroll out a little bit. Scroll down. I should be only getting this type of floor. There we go. Nice. All right. Now I do want to replicate the sterile tile in here. I know it means that they've got to come in here and rip up shit, but whatever. It'll be fine. And since it's going to be going down here, also in the doors as well. I don't know why, but it does matter if it's in the doorway for some fucking reason. Now is this? Yeah, this is the other one. Cancel that. Not that. Give me that. All right, so sterile tile where it's needed. That should be fine. Oben had some surgery. Good on him. Um, what else? What else is there? I've got to bring up all the batteries. I've got to get them in here. Just so that they're covered. Hmm, not all that is covered. I'll tell you what, can I have a roof zone in here? This is already existing now. This does have a roof on it. This is green here, so... Why is it saying that that's... Oh, it's a fucking stone thing, isn't it? Or something. I remember reading this fucking somewhere. Because, like, you get the same thing. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I haven't covered it properly. Or it's a existing natural one. Either way, it's got a roof on it now. <laughs> I love when I just don't fucking know. It's RimWorld. I think it's it's existing. I think that's what it's supposed to do. Oh man. This is the fun part about playing Rimworld. It's like, there's so much. There's so much to know. I understand why it's difficult for people to like start playing. Because there's so much to it. But then once you get used to it, it's kind of like... There's so much to remember. It's super easy to just like forget shit. We're up to 12... How many do we need? We need 18. Won't be too bad. That's not that long. Um, okay. Now, if those beds are already in here... Yeah, there's one. 
All right. Well, a couple of them were masterworks, and I do want to bring those up in here. I just got to fucking find them. Like, a lot of what I'll find is probably excellent. They'd be right. Is that a, that one's a hospital bed. That one's hospital. Hold on. That can't go there. That's the, those ones are hospital beds. So I can put them probably down the bottom of the map where I need it. I missed, oh, it's legendary. I was going to say, I'm like, there has to be a reason why I didn't sell that. And what else have I got? I've got another, that's a hospital bed. All right. Well, if that's just a regular wood one, do I have any more? Yeah? No. Okay, I must have just kept the hospital beds or otherwise they're somewhere else. So if that's the case, let's say get rid of you. I want, I know it would be get so much better if I put all the really great hospital shit for my people um, where they can use it. But I tend to give my prisoners the best crap ever. I just haven't provided that for them yet. Again, they'll get nice things later, maybe. Uh, that's allocated. This one isn't. I need to get these out of my inventory. Oh, because they are just taking up space. That is set to get rid of. I probably have stuff around here. Like that one set to get rid of. There's another battery. The only thing I could do is if I wanted to flip one of these things, I could set them all on one side rotating around. Um, and that would work because if you put them here and there, they connect the circuit and then you end up with all four on one circuit of power. This. I don't want that to happen. I'm trying hard not to have that happen. I also don't know what happened here. Something. I'll tell you that much. Something happened. But yeah, let's see. What else can we do? That's kind of messed up. I think I moved that outwards. Oh man, I've really got to stop yawning. I've gotten so used to like, not so much being asleep at this time. I'm not asleep at this time, but I've gotten really used to like getting sleep and getting tired and stuff. And it's one of those things where I like, I don't have energy drinks. I haven't had a coffee or anything. So my body's just like, oh man, I could sleep. And I'm like, please don't, don't do it. It's like literally like borderline threats. All right, well, I've got power that goes around one side, except for that spot. Hey, e, what are you doing? You're t going to a bed. I'm guessing you're making that bed. It's fine. I was going to get you to do something else. I was going to get this power conduit done out because it's stopping me from taking the power that's in this area around. Oh, Stin joined. Nice. It's going to take forever to get this top corner built in. I'll tell you that much. It's going to be a lot of work to get them to do that. But eventually they might. Let's see. Yeah, all right. I want to get these ones done too. I just don't know if I've got enough steel here. I sort of do. I just don't have the components. Uh, Lumi's in a go frenzy. Let's go check out Stin. Uh, you're pretty much just a daytimer. Who is destroying something? I just heard somebody like break something just as I arrived. I'm like, okay, I guess that's happening. Either way, the recreation and you're a day timer. It's a kitten. I heard it. Um, yeah. All right. See what you can do. I think you do cooking maybe. I think that might be cooking. Four for wardening. Wardening isn't too bad. Uh, four for handling. Fourteen for cooking. Holy fuck. You're going to be a cook. You're definitely going to be a cook. All right. Actually, five for art. I don't need more artists at the moment. I've got a few people where that is like their top skill and I don't need to allocate extras for it. But you don't have much else. Cleaning. Cleaning and just doing that. Let's lower these two. I just want you to cook. Like, legitimately, that's your entire life now. <laughs> um, I would be very happy if that's all they did. What are they making? They're making parkas, dusters. I guess the thing is, a lot of the time, the tailors don't tend to overlap. I don't believe. Ellie, are you one of mine? Are you a prisoner? 
I'm confused. Are you a prisoner in my hospital? Oh yeah, you are. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm like, these are all, pr they're all prison beds. All right. I guess I forgot to change that over. Um, how how bad are they? They look like they're okay. Look, I would say that these beds can be not for prisoners anymore. Taiko, if you don't mind, can you... I guess somebody should come and probably move them. If I said don't make that medical. Now, they should move them somewhere. Where are you going? Please tell me you're not leaving that building. Good. Alright, well somebody will be with you shortly, I guess. I didn't realise I made my entire hospital that. I kind of forgot. That's fine. Somebody will move them eventually and I'll get my hospital back because I made all these surrounding bed areas. This is why nobody's got beds at the moment is I made everybody's beds into these. Once my prisoners are all like retained, I'll turn those back to normal beds. I wasn't expecting to take like a handful of prisoners last time. So that happened. But yeah, fucking we're getting good on food. We're getting real good on food actually. Hold up. 22,000 pemmican. Uh, 3,000 survival meals, that could be higher. 1,200 simple meals, three vegetarian meals. I'm not seeing any alternative other meal variations. They should have the ability to make carnivore and something else. Um, although, with the addition of a full nother cook coming in, I can only imagine that somebody will be with that. Also, what have I got for skill trainers? Have a look. What have I got? Yeah, seven percent plants, cooking. Oh, well, I've got another one for cooking. I might as well set somebody up. Let's see who likes to cook but doesn't have enough skills. Yeah. You don't have a lot of skills. You do. You do wardening. You're like a seven on cooking. If you're not passionate about it, like this one is. Ram's super passionate about cooking. They're low. Because they've got plant cutting and stuff. Hmm. I really don't want to lose somebody that's already doing plant cutting, even though I normally like take the time to buff up somebody that's got a passion for something. Uh, you won't do that. You don't have much. Like jelly could be useful. They've only got really wardening and they might do like mining and other stuff. But you're really low level. You've got like a minor passion for it. But you also do growing and cutting. Um, you do growing and cutting. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll try it. I was in the middle of a thought process, but that's cool. Polar bears. See, I would get polar bears for the purpose of you can tell the difference visually when you see a bear roaming around your map. This is like I used to have bears with uh, my Hatura colony. But the problem was every time I had um, my bears kind of like roam loose, um, I couldn't tell if I had wild bears that were about to eat my animals or actual like pet bears. I wouldn't actually mind these, but I know that they're on like a hell of a journey and we don't have that kind of money. But yeah, if I could get like a male and a female, like the two that are about the same age, that would be awesome. Um, I've got my thrombos and stuff. I've got all my food. What can I sell you? I've got a lot of swords that I'm obviously taking with me for my colony. Um, it's a shame that you're not interested in buying like random shit. But I want to keep my mind distracted. I'm going to do something else looking. Might be back later. If not, see you tomorrow. All right, Scrim. I'll catch you later. Um, let's see. Steel spear, gladius, all that stuff. No, I could sell a club. No, that's for be buying a club. Got a psychic suit pulse that's on the way. I've got good medicine. I don't really have anything I could sell for that. I could buy food. Realistically, that's the only thing I could do at this point. So I will. I don't have that kind of fucking money though. Jesus Christ. It'd be like, ah, oh, where's my? I don't know what button I hit then, but that was not it. Um, not that way. I'm pretty close. I can adjust this pretty, like, I could sit here and, like, work out, whatever, but this is just as fast. 
about that should do it. I'll just basically take up all of my money, but we'll keep going with that. I think we're on play. Oh, we are now. All right. So let's see. What can I do with cooks? I guess like the one that I saw to begin with would probably be a good idea. Let me get back in the base. It's hard to like see if anything's doing shit in here. There we go. All right. Back to schedule. Not that. Work. Okay, so I could also organize this by cooks if I wanted. You can like do that. Automatically just organizes it, but we have it set like that. It's where it came from. It's like the starting lineup. Let's see. So you have a couple of ones. You've got a one on hunting. Nothing on cooking. I'm looking for somebody that's got like a lot of like twos or less. Like Moose has a lot of low level ones, but ideally I don't want them to have to do something unless they're like a lazy member. Like this one is Chibo's uh, lazy. Um, so he tends to get extra things he has to do because he'll often be wandering around doing nothing. So that's why I've got that on there. And it's got heaps of ones. It's got some ones. You've got one. Looking for somebody that's got... I don't know. I had somebody good down there earlier. What the fuck is getting punched over there? I'm like minding my business like reading this shit and something is getting absolutely fucking punched up in like off to the side somewhere. I'm guessing I'm gonna just do up Lan. Um, night Owl body modder. Tough. Well a night time cook wouldn't be too bad. I don't mind having cooks that can be in and around at night. Um, let's get you set up with a one on that. That way, once you're able to cook, because he's already got seven, right? So if he increases this, if we wait till he gets down here and, like, gets this thing, like, he may go from, like, a seven. I should be able to click on him when it gets closer. Um, Manatee made a simple helmet masterway. Jesus, Manatee. Oh, shit, we've got enough. Um, all right. Hold up. Wes. Um, I've just got to take that to them, right? And it's just 18 simple helmets. That should be fine. I shouldn't even need too much for this. I think it's this one. Um, I think. We'll find out. Let's see. Who can I send? I don't really care who I send, as long as they're kind of fast enough. Um, how's about fur? Fur and Williams. You two I don't think I've sent on a quest before. Now, I need to get the helmets before I forget. Before I grab any animals, for love of fuck, I need to remember helmets. Because I've done this before. I've sent so many people out before and not had the stuff. So I think I can leave the one shitty-ass helmet here. The rest of them can go with us. That'll be fine. And since I'm going over to visit another group... I'll take stuff with me. Now that I've got the thing, I can start looking at, like, animals and shit. Preferably something that can maybe haul. Of course, I don't have any animals that can carry anything. So it's fine. Um, I guess we're just going to have to just brute strength this fucking quest. It's fine. Um, let's get me some, like, people that can carry 30, 31. Usually these people can't self-forage a lot of the time. They can't forage for much. Jesus, you can carry 32? I didn't even know if I've seen somebody with that before. Either way, that's like immediately 300 and something. I'll grab another guy. Maybe one more. Let's uh, cap it up near. There we go. 420. <laughs> There's going to be so many people out there going nice. All right. I'm not going to be able to carry that much back with me. Um, the only other thing I could do is like give him a gift or some shit. Like throw a masterwork bed at them or something. <laughs> Just imagine that. It's like, hey, mate, how do you feel about this? It's yours. Take it. My only problem is I know that they're probably going to have steel or some shit and I'm not going to have the animals for it. So hopefully with this combination, we'll have, or oh, maybe not that much. We should have enough that when I arrive, I can do a decent trade. Something like that will do it. Send that out. I believe that's the right place. Um, Yes. Cool. All right, so they're at like 46%. Um, 
All right. They're going to give me a couple of healing trainer things. And the whole reason why I'm going bonkers for that is Naomi and Xena. Naomi the person, Xena the cat, um, are both kind of, well, Naomi's down. She's losing skill points by the day. She has depleted so much. So, so much. But if I don't get her up, if I don't get her healed, because I kind of like psychic shock lance the shit out of her. And now she's basically, well, she can't get out of bed anymore. Uh, whereas Zena the cat is just having psychological breakdowns non-stop. And I'd really like that to stop. Like, there's nothing much going on with this cat. It's just got dementia. I, yes, I realize I could probably save this and use it for somebody else who may have like a serious condition. But I do count my animals as potentially like having serious conditions as well and being like riddled by that. Amy's the only one that's like stuck down. But yeah, I love how there's a horse in like part of this. Like, I just, I love that. It's, it's a hospital, but horses are in there. Like, imagine that you're laying in a hospital bed and you just wake up to this horse, like, nibbling on your pillow beside you. Like, how jarring would that be? I personally would be horrified. I'd probably, like, probably fall myself out of the bed into the following bed beside me at, like, like a special speed. <laughs> oh, man. It would just be, like, launched. All right. Well, anyway. I don't have... I kind of want them to, like, start making certain things. Like, that's limestone. Um, they haven't finished making that. They must have done the beds down here. Mm, they have done a lot. This place is still such a mess because of all the little tiles that they're carpeting. I'm getting cotton too, but I'll get there. And the other thing too is I bought up a heap of those Nutrimine things and that should mean that my drug labs, I can start making medicine. Oh, finally. Fucking just do it forever. I don't give a shit. And somebody can get their ass cheeks up here and just perpetually make medicine. Because we just don't have it. I've got green medicine. That's all I've got. If they make this stuff with... Where is it? Uh, I'll be one of those things where I'm looking right at it and I won't be able to see the motherfucker. It's either not in here or it's on the map wherever I bought it. Let's see, there's a shit pile there, there's a random shit pile here. This still hasn't been brought in. My animals are still eating the pemmican that's left out. Like, I've got panthers and shit up here. Also, speaking of, how is my allowance for panthers up here? Because I need it to be a lot more than what I've got. I've got allowed for 10 adults and I've only got one young male. That's where my problem is, is I'm waiting for that one male to get old enough to breed. Um... Okay, I'm going to need to say at least like 25 of those and make those 15. It can still be culled at like five um, as like small animals and stuff like that because it's just too many to manage when they're coming up. But I really need a lot of them. And thrombos, I didn't realize I had them on a cull list, but I guess I do. All right. It's fair. I wonder if I could spare sending up any more. There's chocolate on these trees. Almost. They're almost ready to harvest. These take forever. You gotta have these basically planted as the first tree at the start of spring. And then you gotta hope that your people actually like harvest it all into the the season. Um I have a lot of trees and shit in here. Got a lot of berries. Got a lot of little baby sloths. That is surprising my mega sloths of reproducing that much. I may have to bring in the power area up here and like work it into this corner or I can connect this end up. At this rate I might as well connect up this end to one. Hit me up with the power grid and right here. Connect that up. That'll bring me all the power from this one grid down into here. That will get this all powered as well. It'll give me like a little bit of extra assurance in case that goes down. Plus I'll have that extra this thing. The gemmal fucking not gemmal. <laughs> the geothermal generator thing. Where? Um 
I might not be able to take those on here. I also don't have anybody that's got inspired taming right now. Oh, I actually do. Um, but you're only 15. I need you to be like 18 or higher to get a thrombo. You've got to have them basically be at 20 to get a thrombo. Um, like, unless you've got like a really rare case or something like that. I'd only just hunt them because otherwise they're a waste to just sit there and feed. So this should be fun. I've got a few people here. I don't have that many animals. I should have enough people. Also, these are prisoner beds. I thought you were done, Ludo. Go to the proper medical area, mate. I have one. Go use it. Fucking Ludo. Alright, let me save this and I'll see if I can take on those thrombos. Alright. Oh, I've got a lynx in the area too. And a Megasoft. So there's that. Okie dokie. Well, everybody that has a gun, whatever you're doing, you're coming up here. I could definitely do with a couple of pelts. That'd be nice. Yeah, can you come up here too? And whoever I'm missing up in here, please. Yeah, come up here. I think that's almost everybody. Not missing a couple. Can you guys go up here too? Also, Vincent, please tell me you're not stuck. Thank you. It's always a worry when you see them inside of a building these days. It's just that they can actually build themselves in. Alright, I'm gonna go for absolutely every person I can have that can fight. We'll be here. I don't have to, like, fight them, but I'm gonna fucking give it a shot. I've got three of the bastards here. I've just gotta try not to, like, get a fence broken. And if I can get one that's, like, at a distance, it'd be better. Because the other one's probably gonna attack straight away. Okay. I can get you guys to just spread out a little bit. I kind of want to take on that one first, and I don't want this one to... I don't know where that one's going, but it's going there fast. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, that's kind of pointless, mate. <laughs> that was really pointless. This one's about to die. But hey, you had the right idea. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> All right, the, the other ones that are in the area can kind of like move back, yeah. Nah, I accidentally shot down Linda and Silverware. Of course we did. My people are incredible. All right. Uh, how badly are you hurt? Deaf in four hours. Wow. And deaf in nine hours. All right. Hold up. Who would be my medical officer here? I'm pretty sure it's Legrand if he's still on this map. Um, I see Lasagna. Where is where's Legrand? Uh, Labia. Hold up. Let's see. Doctors. Weeks can do it. Weeks and McPherson. All right, you two, can you go and pick up that? And who was it? McPherson. You. Um, I don't know which one I've got picked up. There, yeah, that one. Go try that. Go try that. Let's go see if we can, like, save them. Also, you're pretty hurt, so you can go off and do whatever you got to do. Now, the other ones, Um, I don't know where they went. One's up here. How long have I played this game for? I'm not actually sure. Hold on. Um... I don't think, I don't think Steam's going to tell me. Hold up, where's my game? I always close out at Steam when I actually open the game up. Um, That'll take a second to open back up. You guys can just, ah, oh, come up here. Go up there, yeah. Uh, Weeks? Weeks, I hope you're tending. Good, 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 good. I was worried for a second there that she was just not going to. You guys are real hurt. Um, all right, my Steam's open. Let's have a look. I'm not sure exactly when I got it, but I've played for like 1,044 hours, which isn't really a long time. It's not really a long time in like the scheme of things. I'm sure there might be somewhere where it tells me specifically maybe when I got a game. I'm not too sure. What was that? Uh, Thrombo Revenge and Ludo. I don't know, I would say probably 2018 maybe would be a pretty rough guess. I'd say probably somewhere about 2018 if not 2019 maybe is when I started playing. I haven't been playing for like a super long time. 
I never played it myself, but I've watched a few videos. Yeah, it's one of those things where like people can play this game so differently depending on what kind of mods they've got and stuff. Yeah, so I do have a goal with the specific colony. Um, just give me a second to just kill this one. I need to move them out of the way. These guys could literally kill me super easily, so I've just got to like make sure my people aren't dying. Uh, 10 hours, 6 hours. Viper, maybe you can get him to a hospital too. The first couple that went in, I mean, there's a chance I'll just roll back for that. But yeah, the main thing that I'm going for with this colony, originally I used the mod Prepare Carefully to bring in 21 colonists from previous maps that I've played. And I genuinely thought that they would... Oh, come on guys, just punch it. I genuinely thought that they would kill each other, like within like the first like month or something. Um, so I really wasn't expecting them to survive. Like they actually, they were fine. They were just like, oh, yeah, we can work together. We we can cooperate. And I'm like, really, you guys don't want to kill each other? Um, but anyway, because that changed the plan, um, I was expecting to kind of like have this one kind of like really aggressive big colony that was going to be really hard to manage, really hard to keep alive and stuff like that. Um, they survived. And then I kind of like went, okay, well, next thing is I'll just start taking as many people as possible. So I started taking as many people as possible with the goal to get like 250 people. And um, then, oh, weeks, I need you medically. Um, basically at the point where I started taking a lot of people and we were still surviving, it was kind of like a matter of trying to get them to stay alive at that point, which they were. So I'm like, okay, well that's happening. So then I'm like, fuck it. We're going to try to get off world, which we started down here as my main colony. And we've got my second colonies up 